a single given night in Indianapolis, there is anywhere between 1,500 and 1,800 individuals experiencing homelessness. They are struggling and they want better opportunities to be part of our community. They are mothers, sons, friends, co-workers, and most importantly, they're our neighbors. Why does this matter? Because a true measure of any society is how it treats its most vulnerable. And we can do better. Our most vulnerable neighbors deserve a place to call home and quality of care so that they too can feel part of our great city. Well, first of all, I love my community. I love the Near East Side. I just feel like it was a missed opportunity for when developers came in our area to not to actively have a diversity inclusion plan so that homeowners that look like me could afford homes. Um, as I walk down the streets in my neighborhood, I can count on my hand the people that look like me. And it's very discouraging and disheartening because you know, economic prosperity is real estate, home ownership, and we're, it was a missed opportunity or maybe just didn't cross their radar and that's what bothers me. There's a couple of ways you can look at affordable housing supply in Indianapolis. Uh, many will look at the rooftops. Are units affordable in Marion County for people? And if you do that, you would find a number of housing units that are affordable. What we prefer to look at is the noses. We count the noses that are, one, uh, low and moderate income, earning less than 80% of the area median income, but two, are they spending more than 30% of their income on housing costs? If they are, we consider them low and moderate income and housing cost burden. If you're housing cost burden, that means you lack the resources to pay for other necessities in life, food, education, health care, and the like. And so when we look at that, we know that there are 106,000 households in Marion County that are low and moderate income and housing cost burden. And, as, and that's, that's 29% of all Marion County households. And so we think there's a significant shortage of affordable housing in Marion County. What's really most important, moms and infants are dying. And we need to really address it and stop really putting out ideas that are not really working. Look at the core factors. Take out the racism and barriers that is allowing them access to the care. Look at health and education. Look at nutrition. Look as well as public safety and the environment they're in. What, what really is how society is impacting them and how them as individuals are impacting their environment around them. 